Hey everyone, once again I'm back already to prove things that I said in my last video. I told you all to look up things concerning the, the rapture in 2018 that they were going to say the rapture is in 2018. I told y'all to look it up. I guaranteed you that it was going to be there. If it wasn't already there weeks ago, they're going to make more within hours from now, or they already made it today. Now I'm going to show you. What I've been telling you. I typed in Rapture in 2018. What do you see? You see all these things. The Rapture in 2018, the full moon being a sign, and all this crap. I'll see it, right? You see all these rapture in 2018. There's one that's actually been posted recently. Rapture now. Antichrist rules. It's, it's so ridiculous. Shoes and hot coffee. Love behind in rapture. Y'all listen to stuff like that. It makes me sick. It makes me so sick. and I'm, I hate that y'all are so easy. Y'all are so easy. That y'all so deceive to believing this idiotic stuff and they give the most goofiest names for the rapture. Y'all believe it. Choose hot coffee left behind the rapture. Really? This is the type of stuff y'all believe and y'all watch it? Six thousand views. Oh, and don't forget this one. Did you believe? The rapture proof that we are still in Jubilee. I'm gonna keep saying the same stuff. And you to believe it. You to keep giving them money. Every year they're gonna bring you this rapture to get money off you. That's the point of this rapture in the first place. To get money off you. Twenty eighteen rapture and tribulation with another huge sign. Second January, twenty eighteen rapture vlog. There are always white people. They be the main ones doing the stupid crap. Because these white people know the truth. They are in on it. That's why they are the same people. And if it's somebody new, they're gonna be white. Not being racist here, but they are all white. Rapture in March of 2018. There's a new one for you. Rapture's in March now.
Why Rapture Watch? January January first of twenty eighteen. See, this one already had it planned going to 2018 because they knew the rapture was going to happen in 2017. This was made seven months ago. Already had it planned 2018. Already had it planned for you. The 2018 rapture. Check it out. Already planned out for you. you. Believe it next year, which is this year. Guess what? I bet you if I look up 2019 rapture, it's gonna be in the it's gonna be in the search box. Watch. I'm gonna look it up. If ain't there now? It will be close to the end of this year, I believe. I promise you, it will be. When is the rapture? 2017 to 2018. And if it don't happen in 2018, it's going to be 2018 to 2019. And then after that, it's going to be 2019 to 2020. Huge confirmation of full moon rapture possibility. Two days ago. Already planned out. Already planned out by white people. Already planned out by the government. To keep y'all in the stupid. Hmm. Actual warning, but right. First, this was coming in five seven seven. It's coming in five seven seven seven. Now it's five seven seven. Oh, do you see why I'm going crazy? You see why I want to leave you guys alone. Y'all believe this or over what I tell y'all. I told you who I am. I'm not saying it again. Y'all believe in this crap. Also, y'all believe when people tell y'all the Lord gave them a message. I'm about to give y'all an example. Pause the video and find it. Before I looked that up, I looked up 2019 Rapture, and I was right. It's already planned. It's already set up for you. In 2019, already set up. It's already there. Look, it's there. It's set up already for 2019 for y'all to believe it. For y'all to give them more money. The tribulation gonna happen and all the other stuff. It's already set up. World War Three is gonna be in 2018. Ooh, 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 ooh. Remember when I told y'all 2017 to 2018? Then after that, it's going to be 2018 through 2019. And after that, it's going to be 2019 through 2020. Well, I just found it. What a coincidence, right? Wow. Look at that right there. Wow. Wow. You are all sad. Seven year tribulation starts in 2019. Let me look up 2020. Rapture. It's already set up. 
2020 rapture. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Even though that's not my real name. Rapture by 2020. 2020! It's already set up. It's planned. Twenty twenty one. Rapture in 2021 through 2017. Already had that planned out. Just in case it don't happen the, the few other years after 2017. Rapture in 2021. Oh my dear goodness. Rapture in 2022. This one went beyond. This one went to 2022 to 2024. Rapture. Oh, let me show you. 2022 to 2024. Rapture already set up. By white people. Ooh, this one went to 2025. So I ain't got to show y'all 2025 then, since it's already set up through 2022, through 2025, so they already got that set up. <laughs> Is he coming back in 2025? That's already set up. They already got a plan to tell y'all in 2025 to be prepared for it. So let's go to... Let's, let's try 2035. Oh, they didn't go that far yet. They got to complete these other years first, then go into 2030s. They got to complete the 2020s first. So let's look up 2029. Okay, so they didn't go that far yet, neither. Oh, well, actually, never mind, they did. Second coming in 2030. I proved my point. 13 minutes of proving my point. I'm tired of this stuff. I'm tired of y'all predicting when I was supposed to come. But I've been here for so long. I've been here. I'm tired of y'all seeing this stuff. Stop it. Is really childish. You guys are idiots, and I'm sick of it. You're getting on my nerves with this crap. The reason it's never going to happen is because I'm already here. I'm already in your face. And y'all making this stuff up, making it, everybody believe y'all. Because y'all know there is no rapture happening. Y'all know it. But y'all want to be stupid and deceive everybody, especially Christians. Y'all making all of them look stupid. Y'all got what's coming to y'all, and I can't wait for it. Because real soon, y'all are not going to keep doing this. It's all going to end real soon. Once these people wake up and actually listen to me, things are going to change. So y'all can keep having your little fun with the rapture thing every single year. Keep doing it. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of y'all playing with me.
Y'all playing too much. Y'all playing with me. What more proof do y'all need? I told y'all they had all this stuff planned out. They're going to keep planning it out. The world is not going to end. The world will change once y'all wake up. The world is not going to end. A comet is not going to hit the earth or nothing like that. Why y'all think a comet never hit the earth? The little pieces they find when a comet explodes in the sky all the time. For some reason, it explodes in the sky. Why? Because it's not real. But they found little rocks that they, you know, that scattered everywhere. Because they planted there. They plant the rocks there. They put it on the news and show all the rocks that they found that they planted. They didn't come from no asteroid. There is no asteroids. There is no comets. It's just rocks from the earth that they picked up. They, they planted there to deceive everybody into thinking there was a comet that blew up in the sky. Comets never hit the earth, never did, never will, because they don't exist. Y'all need to wake the heck up and stop playing around and get serious. I'm so tired of playing with y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm really sick and tired of this stuff. Y'all think I'm playing. I didn't mean to say I was playing with y'all. I'm just not thinking straight when I say that. Y'all need to wake up. Y'all driving me crazy. Y'all driving me insane with this fake stuff. Fake news, fake everything. It's all fake and I'm sick and tired of it. Y'all need to wake up. I never lied to y'all. I never asked y'all for money. I never came to y'all and said, Oh, the Lord gave me a full sentence of what to say when he's right here in your face. How could he give him that if he's right here? You want proof? Okay, I'll show you proof. Several videos today just because I feel the presence of the Holy Spirit inspiring me to do so. Um, like I said before, I'm not technologically sound. I have actually my computer's locked up, so I'm doing everything from my phone right now. Um, but I would like you to pray and ask the Holy Spirit for discernment. I've been given prophetic words and visions since 2015. And for me, it was a matter of timing and waiting on the Holy Spirit to um, kind of prompt me. And I feel like he has for a long time, but I wasn't really being heard. Um, I continue to not be heard. However, um, for me, um, having prophetic gifts or even for like a watchman, the Holy Spirit put upon my heart that he has um, prophets, prophetesses, and watchmen around the world. And the Bible says, if you do not warn um, when you've been giving, given a word from the Holy Spirit to warn, um, and something happens, then that innocent blood is on your hands. And so I am trying to be an obedient daughter to Jesus Christ and also honor the gifts that he's given me. Um, so please pray about this. And um, basically, it's I'm going to put it out there. And it's not a matter of, like, I have followers follow Jesus Christ. Um, I don't care about the lighting. People say, oh, you know, go and okay. Google how to increase your channel. Correct. And um, he knows your heart, so he will utilize you for... There you go. Um, this one is from January 24th, 2016. I'll cry out for him, so there you go. Um, this one is from January 24th, 2016, and um, the Holy Spirit gave me... Mark 13, 24 to 37, the coming of the Son of Man. But in those days, after that tribulation, the sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give its light, okay. and the stars will be falling from the heaven. Power and glory. And then he will send out the angels and gather his elect from the four winds, from the ends of the earth to the end of heaven. Then the Holy Spirit says to me, there is an expansive knowledge in the spiritual realm, and I intend to teach you. He also says, stay on the path that you're on. I know you struggle at times and feel lonely. That's true. <laughs> Render your heart to me, for I am your Father God. No harm shall befall you. I am preparing an army, 
a nation of saints, an army of righteousness and truth to fight for their freedom. For the army of darkness is also fighting this war. Many have fallen away, slipped from my grasp, fallen into temptation and sin, the dark ways of this world. You get the point. Sorry, you get the point of what I'm trying to basically tell y'all. She basically put in four sentences of what he said to her. How can he... Uh, how? How is that possible? How can he... How can you remember everything he told you? You remember in four sentences of everything he tells y'all. Only so few of you get this. Only so few of you get full sentences of what he said to you. Y'all will sometime, it, it will, it will, y'all sentences will last for five minutes on what he said. When you have people that only get brief dreams or something, you somehow got a full sentence of what he said. I don't understand it. Then she want to quote things in the Bible. Of things that everybody always quoting all the time. They, the Lord gave me this scripture. And it's always the same scripture of the second coming. What they got to do with anything? You know. The Bible is just a history book of what happened in the past. And everything in it is not true. And if all these things happen in past lives in the Bible, Peter, John, and all of them, Jesus, all of them, Noah, they're basically saying that it's going to happen the same way in your generation. It's going to be a repeat, which means when Yeshua shows up and tell y'all the truth about who he is and everything else, then none of y'all going to believe him. Y'all going to do what y'all want to do. It's going to be the same thing like it was way back 2,000 years ago. This Bible is just a history book. It has nothing to do with our future. This Bible has nothing to do with the future at all. This is a new future. This is new. It has nothing to do with now. The Bible is not telling you anything about now. It's telling you what happened back then. It's a history book. For instance, World War I. Was any of you here when World War I happened? No. But you go to the library and you pick up a book reading about it. It's a history book. It tells you what happened in World War I. World War II. Were any of you here? Nope. You go to the library. You pick up the book. You read it. What happened in the past. This Bible somehow survived 2,000 years ago. Somehow. And still here to this very day. Still here. Y'all need to wake up. This is pretty much it. And um, y'all take care.